Hey guys, it's Fred. Welcome back to the Flying Wood Shop. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the baptismal font. I got some lumber today. It was rough and that's how I usually get it. So I want to show you the process that I go through to make lumber look so that it starts looking like this end up looking like this. So before we get going with that though, I did want to show you all a picture of what this thing's going to look like. I never really showed that in the beginning, so I have an artist rendition. Uh, when it comes to paper, I'm not really an artist, but I uh, just wanted to show you quickly what it's going to be. So this is the overhead view. There's what we would call the uh, three-dimensional view. It's mostly to scale, uh, nothing too fancy, but uh, hopefully it's gonna look pretty fancy when it's done. All right, here we go. So the first thing I do is take the lumber over the jointer. That gets one side perfectly flat. After I get that flattened out, I tilt it up on its edge and get the second side flat and 90 degrees to the first side. Then I run the boards over to the planer, and this planer sequence actually took almost half an hour. This is a, a long process usually. Um, I did both boards kind of alternating in order to keep them consistent and get the same thickness throughout. But basically you're making the rough side that you have left over parallel and smooth and uh, flat. So you, you keep doing that until it gets flattened out completely and there are no more rough spots. Then you can start kind of working on making sure that the uh, both sides are smooth. The planer leaves a smoother surface than the jointer. So you uh, run it through the, the surface that has already been jointed once you've got them both parallel. You basically have two reference sides by then. I figured I'd just add this in. This is me changing out the blade on the table saw. I had the dado blade in there previously for some test runs on the box joint jig. And I'm taking the dado blade out right now and putting the, the regular blade back in. You see the dado blade is four pieces uh, that I'm using right now. There, there are several pieces to the kit. I think there's about 12 pieces to the kit. Once I take the blade out, I have to take the break out because the dado blade is eight inches, the main blade is 10 inches. So it has a separate break that it uses for the safety uh, backup to stop the saw. That's a look at it. I'll put the new break in, lock it in with the pin, now put in the riving knife, which keeps the kickback to a minimum. And now I went over, grabbed the new blade or the uh, the regular blade. There it is, the woodpecker blade. Put that in. That's kind of your multi-purpose hardwood blade, and uh, tighten that down. All this is done obviously with the power off the saw. I've got the power located right next to the wrenches, so every time I get the wrenches, I pull the power. Every time I put the wrenches back, I plug it back in. Put in the throat plate, and we're good to go. So now that I've got three sides taken care of, I'm taking care of the fourth side on the table saw. So I'm making a parallel and smooth cut to the original jointed side. And you see a little chip there, but that's no big deal. I'll just uh, plane that out at the end. And I set up the cross cut sled with the blade at a 45 degree angle to cut all the, pa the pieces at a 45 degree angle and a stop block keeps them all the same size. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you guys learned something. I know I always do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.